okay welcome back so today we are going to cover insertion of equations and insertion of mathematical expressions or mathematical symbols within a LaTeX document and before uh, we start uh, what we need for insertion of mathematical equations is the package known as AMS math uh, so let us start with the tutorial uh, first of all uh, I would like to insert or call the package known as AMS math so I would say use package AMS math uh, this is basically the package which will help us to uh, generate mathematical symbols and uh, mathematical letters within the document so now if I would like to insert a new equation so first let me create a new section how to insert equations now in order to write mathematical expressions or mathematical symbols there are uh, two approaches the first one is of course uh, to have a separate dedicated line for our equation but sometimes we also have some mathematical expressions within the text and uh, those mathematical expressions or those mathematical equations may appear in the same line uh, where we have our regular text so for example if I would say uh, this is our first equation here we calculate now I want to type uh, then here we calculate x square and y square so the term x square and y square should appear as mathematical expressions so in order to do that all I need is to put x square and y square between dollar signs so I can say dollar begin dollar in and I would say so I would say dollar begin dollar in and x square so x square will be will appear as x cap 2 and again dollar and I would say y square now if I compile this file I can see that it has inserted some text and it says here we calculate x square and y square and the terms x square and y squares appear as perfect mathematical expression uh, so this is uh, also referred as inline mathematical expressions or inline insertion of mathematical symbols now in order to insert an equation what we need is the equation environment so I would say begin equation and in equation and between this environment within this environment I would say let's say let z equal to x or let me say z square equal to x square plus y square now if I compile this file I can see that it has inserted a new equation which says z square equal to x square plus y square and it has automatically assigned a number to this particular equation I can also insert a square root sign a square root symbol and I can modify the expression I can say z equal to square root for square root symbol the keyword used is sqrt and after that I will insert set of parentheses uh, sorry set of braces and I will say within the braces x square plus y square now if I compile it it says square root of x square plus y square is equal to z uh, so this is a very simple equation now let us try to have to insert a new equation and let's say that equation has got uh, the mathematical summation symbol within it so I can say begin equation 
in equation and let's say I want to type in that summation of x is equal to summation of y so I can say sum backslash sum this will insert the summation symbol and I can say x equal to summation of y now if I compile it I can see that it has inserted the summation symbol it says summation of x equal to summation of y and we can also put limits to the summation so for example if x has multiple number of values so we can say x underscore i and we want to say that the limit of i goes from 1 up to 100 so i can say backslash sum and then i will insert an underscore and i would say within braces that i goes from 1 cap 100 and similarly let's say for y we have a different limit so i can say yj and within braces i would say j goes from 1 up to let's say 50 now if i compile this file we can see that okay so there has some of course in the presentation or in the final form there, there is something missing and i will discuss it soon so it does something it says i equal to one up to i equal to one it doesn't say hundred so the point is that we need to put this hundred within braces so that the entire limit or the entire term hundred appear as a superscript and similarly over here we can say within braces 50 and now if i compile it again uh, i can see that it has assigned a limit it has put this limit on the submission sign and uh, sometimes we can also use uh, many people use this uh, word left and right which basically uh, help us to put some kind of let's say uh, parenthesis for this particular expression x i and y i let's say i want to put the term x i for example if there are multiple sub terms x1 x2 x3 x4 and i want to uh, show that the basically the summation is applicable to all the terms then i would like to put those terms within parentheses so i can enclose this within parentheses uh, but the the way i do it is before the parentheses i would say backslash left parentheses begins and backslash right parentheses ends so now if i generate the pdf i can say that it has put the term into a very uh, professional looking parenthesis if i remove the keywords right and left it will still have the parenthesis but the size of the parenthesis will not fit the size of the text in the equation so now i can see that there are parentheses but the size of the parentheses is smaller compared to the size of the remaining text uh, so i can say backslash left and backslash right similarly on the right hand side of the equation i can say backslash left parenthesis begins and backslash right parenthesis ends Uh, similarly if we want to insert the integer sign integral sign so we can say backslash let me insert a new equation begin equation end equation and i can say integer integral of uh, integral sign we need we use backslash int keyword and i can say the in integral of f of x dx is equal to uh, for example some some 
some some terms uh, I can say let's say x by 2 in order to put x by 2 we use the keyword fraction frac and numerator will appear within the first set of braces let's say x and denominator will appear in the second set of braces and then I say dx now if I generate the output we can see that there is the integer sign and it says the integral of f of x dx is equal to x by 2 now of course uh, we would like to have limits for the integer and that we can do as backslash int underscore 0 and superscript say 4 and uh, on the right hand side we don't have any limits so I can s generate the PDF now the, it says integer from 0 to 4 integer of f of x from 0 to 4 I can also if this is a longer expression I can also put this particular uh, expression within the parenthesis so I can say let's say backslash left and backslash right and parenthesis closed so now it put this term within the parenthesis so this is how we can generate uh, we can insert different mathematical symbols of course there are many more mathematical symbols uh, we can have greater sign less than sign we can have the subset superscript sign and we can have the multiplication symbol and we can have many other Greek letters and uh, I would recommend you to Google uh, the latex keywords for all those mathematical symbols and uh, a very nice um, piece of tutorial is also available on the official website of overleaf.com but if you f feel difficulty with any particular key, uh, symbol then you can put that into the comments and I will definitely try to address those now we move to the last part of the tutorial where we will cover insertion of a longer equation and for this part I have already pasted some text here which is basically a longer equation and I want to show you that this is a longer equation and let me remove the comments and now if I generate the PDF so I can see that this is a very lengthy equation over here and it is obvious that the equation does not fit into a single line so how we can address this if there is a lengthy equation and we would like to split the equation into multiple number of lines all we need to do is to put this additional keyword an additional environment which says backslash begin split and backslash end split and now uh, wherever we would like to split the equation we need to put double backslash slide so over here if we remove this double backslash we can see that uh, the equation will still appear in a single line but I can force it to split into to basically to move the remaining text into the next line by putting a double backslash so we can put double backslash almost anywhere within this expression and uh, anything appear which appears after the double backslash will be forced to move into the next line there is also an environment known as the multi-line uh, we can use that environment as well uh, which is basically simple to use I can say backslash begin multi-line and in multi-line and let's say there is a very long equation for example I can say z equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 
plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 plus x7 x8 x9 x10 so now if we look at this equation i it still appears that it is fitting into a single line so let me put additional terms So now this is quite a lengthy equation and all we need to do is to put to enforce a new line by putting double backslash. So it immediately moves the remaining text to the next row or the next line. So this is how we can split our equation into multiple number of rows. Uh, so I hope that it covers almost everything about equations to get started with equations and please do practice and just google how um, um, different types of symbols and different types of latex keywords for greek letters if you have any difficulty you can put it uh, your questions into the comment section and i hope that i will be able to address those so enjoy your time and thank you for now